Hi guys, my name is Lena and I'm with the Chai Creativity Lab and today I want you guys to come along with me and do the egg drop challenge. So for this challenge you will need paper, tape, scissors and an egg. And I gave mine a little face just to make it more fun. Um, maybe take a hard boiled egg so just in case your creation doesn't work the first time you will not have the mess on the floor. Before we start though, I want to explain to you or give you some details about what is important when building a really good protective gear for a little egg friend here. So let's do this first. Okay, so what happens if we just drop an egg? Here's our egg friend, it's pretty happy. And here's our floor. So we drop it which means, I mean, we all know that the egg will fall down and break. And our egg friend will not be that happy anymore. So we want to build something that protects the egg from breaking right here. Because what happens right here is that the, en the egg absorbs the energy from the fall. And um, every time an object absorbs energy, it means it will deform. That means it will change its shape or even break because our egg is not as sturdy as maybe a stone or a rock. So if you drop a rock, probably nothing happens to it when you drop it on the floor. But an egg is not that sturdy. So an egg absorbs all the energy which makes it break. So what we want to do is we want to build something around our egg that protects it when it crashes on the ground so that this time not our egg will absorb the energy and break from absorbing it, but our protection gear will absorb the energy. So all the energy will be in here and our egg will survive. So um, let's check out how we can make sure that our egg is protected. So one idea could be that we just use our paper I have like a little stack of paper and we just wrap it around like a present. Just wrap it around, close it at the bottom or just, yeah, just wrap the whole egg. But we were talking about deformation, that the energy has to go somewhere. It needs to be absorbed by something that can change its shape without breaking as fast or it can change its shape for a big portion. So if we look at the paper, the stack of paper, if you can see that, I cannot, it cannot absorb that much energy because it doesn't change its shape that much if I press it together. So even if we put our egg on top and it would fall on the ground, the stack of paper would still not absorb that much energy. So there would still be some energy going into our egg and probably the egg will break again. So what we need to think of is like, how can we change the shape of our paper into a shape that can absorb more energy than just a plain flat piece of paper. And I'm gonna show you some examples of how we can do that. Let's look at how we can change the shape of the paper to make shapes that can absorb more energy than just the flat paper. So what I did, I cut my paper in smaller pieces. So one way how you can build something that can absorb more energy as this, when you can you see it, I press it, it doesn't really change a lot of its shape. But what we can do with this, and that's super easy, is to just crumple it to a little ball and now when you look at it this can absorb much more energy because it changes its shape its original shape I crumbled it into a lot more so when I would sit our egg would sit here and it falls and this is the ground it would give us a little bit more deformation and it would absorb a bit more energy so that our egg doesn't have to absorb that energy. Another 
another nice shape to um, absorb a lot of energy is wall rolls. So you just want to roll your paper. You want to take a little piece of tape and then you have a little roll like this and when you look at it this absorbs a bunch of energy and it pops back up. So that's a good um, way to absorb energy to have a shape that is easily deformed but doesn't break. So let's make a couple of these. Okay, a third way to, or a third shape to build something that absorbs a lot of energy and you might all notice from your parents' cars, when you drive over a big bump, it's fun and it bounces. And why does it bounce? It's because there are, there's something like a spring in the car that helps bounce back so that the car doesn't break. So we can build something that works similar by just folding our paper in a little zigzag, which in the end will give us something like this. This is like a smaller one, but it still works. So if you look from at it from this direction, you see that it kind of works like a spring because when I let go of it, it always jumps back. I can deform it so it absorbs the energy and it pops right back. So let's build a couple of these so we have them for our final creation. So now that we have a lot of really good energy absorbing materials, um, we can start building our creation. So from here on, you're totally free to do whatever you like, um, but I'm gonna show you what I, I'm gonna do. my little egg drop creation with the little ball on the top it almost looks like a little penguin robot but we all know that there's an egg in here okay see you outside <laughs> 